Whitetail Edge is brought to you by Black Widow Deer Lures, Redneck Blinds, Rocky, Antler King, Rogue Bowstrings. Hi, and welcome to Whitetail Edge. This is the second installment of Season 3. Hopefully you caught the first installment that we released in July, but if not, here's what you missed. Finally, he called me back and I said, man, we got a 200-inch deer. <laughs> oh, I don't find it. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe this. I cannot believe it. They were approaching me about bringing a young man here to Ohio to hunt with us. Um, his name is Andrew Schlegel. And, you know, of course, I wanted to make whatever I could happen, happen. jump into the redneck ghillie blind again, the same blind I hunted the very first night. We are gonna catch him. Our access to this blind is great. We can get in and out of it without alerting a lot of the deer. So I felt safe trying to do it one more time. Go to Kansas, hunt a few days there, maybe we'll get lucky, we'll kill, and we'll come back to Illinois. So as you guys saw in the last episode, just to recap quick, we were in Illinois hunting our butts off and was struggling. We just weren't running into the deer we wanted to run into. I didn't have any pictures of them anymore, nothing. It was just a tough time. So we just decided to pack up, head to Kansas, and we were gonna hunt there for a few days and then come back to Illinois and hopefully get into some deer. Try it tonight. Let's see if there's anything on this corner. I mean, something happens. Well, we're kinda of in a dilemma here. We're, uh, we just got in Kansas this morning. It's not really a dilemma, but it's Travis Lehman here, my buddy. He owns Cedar Ridge Outfitters and this is where I killed Titus here last year, the 215. Travis had pictures of him, and then me and Travis got together and we came up with a game plan and hung stands and ended up killing him. Well, he had located another real big typical deer on a farm, and uh, so we were starting to make a game plan for that deer. We were on our way from Illinois because just not much was happening. And in route from Illinois to here, the deer got killed on the neighbors. Ben Rising here with Whitetail Edge. Are you wanting to give yourself an edge? If you are, check out the brand new Black Widow Smoking Stick. It's an unbelievable product with a burn time of three and a half hours. No more getting in and out of the stand every hour to relight another stick. This one will last all evening or all morning during your hunt. It's a great product, you gotta give it a try. Blackwidowdeerlures.com Finally, Travis said, he's like, hey, man, I got a farm south of here, about 40 minutes. He goes, if you want to drive down there, check it out, hang a stand, do whatever you want with it. He goes, there's always good deer on this farm. And I'm like, man, that's for me. That's exactly what I like to do. So me and Javen got in the truck. It was like 1130 in the afternoon. And we ran down to that farm. And it was a nice misty day. And we decided uh, that we were going to scout out and just kind of check this farm out. And uh, when I got into this one spot, I just knew this was it. I was like, this is the perfect setup for a rutting buck. We just got into this spot here. It's a new farm. I haven't hunted this farm ever before. But Travis sent us down here to check it out. He said, hey, it's a big farm. It's a lot like what you like. 
He's just got a lot of oak on it, oak flats and cut corn, things like that. We were looking at the weather and we don't have any stands set for a south southeast wind so we needed to come to this new farm check it out he said hey there's some really good deer on that farm it's a big farm got the stands hung up had the perfect access in and out and i mean i just i really had that feeling you know and i don't know how you explain that but there's these times that you just know it's going to happen here um and i had that feeling i even told javen leaving i says we are going to kill a buck here i said i don't know how big but we're going to kill a big buck right out of this spot get up in the tree stand and uh man it just feels like an epic rut morning i mean it's misty it's cool it's that perfect fall day that we all live for with the wind hitting you in the face the leaves rustling leaves falling and then you hear that magical sound and we all love to hear that and sure enough down in the hollow we could see a big old buck down there pushing does around on the downwind side of what we felt the bucks were going to be doing that day checking these does but these does were about to get downwind of us so i instantly grabbed some black widow start spraying it in the air a little bit kind of getting that deer scent in the air and to me that's a, just an amazing thing because for probably 45 minutes we had no less than seven to eight deer five of them adult does completely downwind within some within six feet and some within 30 yards and they never ever winded us and they were watching the show as this big buck was pushing this doe around down in there then we saw a couple other bucks come in we knew we had a scrape out there in front of us the day before i had squirted some dominant buck lure in that scrape from black widow and just to kind of try to freshen it up a little bit that doe comes up out of there she walks right by it and that buck walks right to that scrape he works that scrape showing his dominance, peeing down his legs. It was just a great, great footage. And I knew watching that doe turn to the left, I'm like, he's dead.
just tipped over. Yes. I knew he was gonna die, but there's nothing like the feeling when they finally tip. What a monarch. Big old Kansas warrior. Patty Madell in here this morning. This is very emotional hunt for me right now. I mean, I've never hunted this hard in my life to try to get a shot at a big deer. For 13 days, we've been grinding this, man. <sighs> David, thanks, man. Sorry, guys, I'm just, I'm just tore up. Man, I'm tickled to death to kill this deer. I mean, he's a big mature deer. Look at his old black forehead. He's at least a four and a half year old buck. Um, he's got some little stickers on the back side of his beams here. He's got long G2s. Just a nice big old eight point. Um, just a good deer to get out. I mean, great buck to harvest. Um, you know, Travis really likes to keep his tens and, you know, the younger tens and pass those genes on. So a big old mature eight like this that's breeding does is the perfect buck to take out and I just can't be more happy I mean he put on a huge show this morning for us I mean you talk about a rut hunt of all dreams I don't think I've ever had a more exciting rut hunt in my life Thanks for watching this episode of Whitetail Edge where we ended this in Kansas. Javen and I are headed back to Illinois and we're gonna pick up where we left off. We got some unfinished business that we're gonna try to take care of.